I have my three dice. Hey. Hey. Okay, well, I'll take it. That's fine. I went 10 last time, now I have 11, so from just below the average to just above. On the other hand, this happens. <laughs> Alright. So you'll be on the play? Yeah. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Put my hair up real quick. What do you say, mate? Sure. Likewise, I will keep. Don't know why, but sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Burr. Excuse me. Cavern of Souls. Slivers. <laughs> Legacy Slivers, my friend. Uh, flanking. I don't know if you happen to remember how flanking works. Not really? It's silly. If you block one of my creatures, you get minus one. The other creature gets minus one, minus one. Oh. Um. It does stack, but I only have one. At least out for now, so you're good. Pass turn. Let's see here. No order of obstruction. Woo! Yeah, yeah, this is not the matchup. And also, yeah, not the land for it either. Man, my computer is. <laughs> it's trying so hard. When I get back home for the modern slivers deck, I'm going to have to check the color representation to see what basics go in. There's only 20 lands in the deck, but I want to have something for path. Preferably two lands. But I don't want to mess with the consistency of the colors too much. One of them will definitely be a forest. I'm not entirely sure what the other one will be. Forest is useful for gym hide and for... Um, Oh, there we go. Good. Predatory, and for Dormant, and for Firewake. It's just all around pretty <coughs> Just the one. Slitters. Mm. Send you. I'd like to go to combat. Two. Yeah, can't block that. Faster. I mean, you can, but no, nah, not really. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Two mana draw card. Super threatening. Uh. So what is the strongest non-land in the deck, in your opinion? The strongest land has to be Gaia's Cradle, obviously, but strongest non-land. In this deck? Yeah. Is it Deathrite? Is it Wirewood? Is it Visionary? I've heard cases for all of them. Yes, Visionary. Oh, no, well, I guess Natural Order, also. I mean, there's, there's also Greenstone. Don't get the anything. Yeah. It's... Not often the one that's outright winning you the game, but it's also more useful earlier on. So that's fair. Wee. Boink. Boink. Hello. Boink. 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 Right. Uh-oh. There's death right. Fair enough. Go ahead. Right. How many cards do you have in hand now? Five. Five? Okay. Yikes. Okay. Well. Predatory. Mm-hmm. Whee! Four. Uh, no, six. Six. Yeah, they lord themselves. Not too many lords will do that. Um, pass turn. Alright. 
gonna make you do it. Or try to do it. Oh, here's a, here's the turn. Resolves. Good. Cradle would be sick right now. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Show me a cradle. There we are. We we are alive. All right. Mm. I'm gonna scoot this down just a mite, that's alright. Oh, I just realized! It's Bob Ross! I got. I, I have to shut this off. I'm sorry. I'm enamored. <laughs> the, the combo has been stopped so that we can see the glory that is Bob Ross. Did Mark Zug actually do this himself? No. Okay. And that is, yeah, that's the cradle, not the sleeve, right? Yeah. Wow. That's oh man. <laughs> oh man. Alright. I'm I'm sorry, please proceed. <laughs> Alright. Just a little reminder way to do it. Alright. Fair enough. Draw all of the cards. Hmm. Trying to think. Here's one. All right. So it's probably wirewood, if I had to guess. No, no. It's wirewood bound. Well, this could be a fog board. Hmm. Okay. Wirewood. Ranger. Heritage. Heritage. That's the one. That's the one. Alright, results. Heritage. Yeah. That makes too much sense. I'm seeing three visionaries. Yep. Yeah. We're not dead just yet. I'm gonna make you play it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll do this, why not? We get to hamburger it one more time. There we go. I have drill. Yes. I have way more fun with that than I ought to. No, 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 no. I know you're. I know what you're up to, but shouldn't you tap the druid instead of the elf that's not summoning sick, the visionary that's not summoning sick, just so that if you attack it with crater behemoth? Yeah. Sorry, backseat gaming, but you know that might make a difference. Oh God. One. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So made all the difference in the world, as it turns out. Where's natural? Okay. By the way, you're three. No. You just played one. Three, two, one. Tap for another three, that's four. No, no. Okay, let's back this up. You just. Alright. Back this up. You're tapped, you're not. So I made three. You're up. Let's see. Yeah, you just made three. Put you at three. One. Alright. Two. One. One. Tap for three. Four. Alright. And then three. So there we go. Yeah, so you're at three. We're good. We got there. We're on the same page.
we can reconstruct the game. Doing a price check on Crater Huff. Four, five, six, nine. No harbor. So if Crater Huff comes down now. Rex Sage. Um, that is a May. Not like it matters. <laughs> if I had an Ether Vial out, I would be a, a little sad. Okay. Oh, okay. This is getting silly right now. Alright. Five. Sack any of them. Alright. Cool. Crater Hoof. Once again, I'll do a price check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It will be the only creature that can attack. Plus itself, so twelve. Plus it's a five, five. Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> do you want to attack? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go out on the limb and say, yeah, he does want to attack you. Whee! Alright. Can I kill you this turn? My money's on probably not. There is actually a top deck that can get me out of this, and it's not all that unlikely to happen, but... Spoiler alert, it's a land. And that's turn? Mm -hmm. God bless. So I had Gale Rider and Sinew Sliver. Gale Rider gives them flying, Sinew makes them lethal, and then I can swing for 12, because 4 times 3. Um, but if I have to play just one, I can't do this because you clog up the ground. This is just one shy of lethal. Uh, another natural order? I mean, it, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's one shy of lethal. <laughs> All you have to do is just go, whee! <laughs> All right. So close. So close. Erg. I wanted to windmill slam a land. Ah, oh, well. The fact that that matchup isn't around anymore. Miracles. I mean, no, no, it's not. It's not around. Miracles is definitely still a thing, but it's less prevalent because it's weaker. Certainly helped. You don't have to worry about Terminus. You don't have to worry about Natural Order getting forcibled or counterspelled. You know, swords in your symbiote. Yeah. Or even just your turn one play, bolt the bird. Alright, I will see how this goes. Come on. There's a hand. It is a keepable hand. And that's what matters. That's what matters. Alright, I don't think you're ready for some of this spice. Oh, cute. Alright, likewise. Let's go... Turn one... Caracas! Pass turn. Don't start your legendary. Yep. Legendary creature, so I think you're fine. <laughs> Crater Hoof is not exactly what I'm going to be hitting with that. Which is to say, I don't actually think there's anything to worry about in your deck. Okay. Dryad Arbor Goop. Alright. Cool. Cavern on Slivers. Chalice on one. Pass turn. Yeah, that's actually main board, but I bring in more from the side. I've considered putting four in the main board. A chalice and forcible deck, but it's also an aggro deck. There are enough decks where chalice doesn't do very much, enough matchups where it doesn't do very much that I don't want to run the full four. But sometimes it just wins your game for free, for no reason at all. Merfolk can kind of do the same thing.
Mm. Oh, hi. Visionary, go. All right. Go ahead. Cool. Muscle sliver. Pastor. I'm going to empty Geo and put Chalice down here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I never lost that. It's going to be cool. Oh, fair enough. It's all good. It happens. Hmm. Please go on the crater hook beat down plan. <laughs> All right, here we go. order. Force of will, hibernation sliver. Predatory. Swing for three. Pass turn. Yeah, this is this is the feel bad moment. I don't like playing cards like Chalice. Go ahead. Right. I'm gonna get the door right after this. <laughs> uh, send you. Uh, the Triforce has been assembled. Swing for eight. Pass turn. I, I would get the door, except <laughs> your dogs and your cats are all right in front of it. I can't bother them. One of them's asleep. I can't bother them. All right, pass turn. Yeah. yeah. Game three. Yeah. Take it you'll want to be on the play? Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Chalice, like Days, is a little less good on the draw. Especially if you're a deck that isn't running crazy fast mana. Not a, you shouldn't expect to see a Simeon Spirit Guide out of me. Ooh. This is uh, actually kind of awkward, but we're going to try it. Ooh, okay. So the reason that this is awkward is, let's show off, we have you, but uh, that, that does not like this at all, and this is part of the reason why you're not more prevalent. Um, I am not entirely sure about what I want to do with this, but there are some cards that this does not work with. I'm just having my fun. Well, oh. I don't know how you do this, living right next to a road like that. I can't stand it. And I used to live in the city. And by the city, I mean Athens. Sure. Alright. Three. Let's do this. Yep, doing it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. May I take my turn? Yep. Alright. Caracas. Innocence Incarnate. Pass turn. Yeah. There's not much of an opportunity cost to running one Caracas in the deck, so I I think it's fine. It also incidentally hates on Reanimator and Sneak and Show, so it gives me something. It's legendary, so I don't want to run more than one if I can help it. Some decks can do that, like Death and Taxes. I don't think this is... Only five color slivers <laughs> is one of those decks. No, you... No, that was your turn. Yeah, yeah, that was my turn. No plays. No, no casting. You're good, my friend. That said, let me rock you down to 19 here. There we go. 
ads. Whoever's putting ads on here, congratulations, you are you're getting a, a few more views than you might have thought. Ooh, yeah. Play him out before Chalice comes out. Go ahead. Alright. I got good news for you. No Chalice. Let's see. Send you, however. Pass turn. That seems like it could go a little poorly. No, I think that's okay. Heritage Druid is good. Uh oh. Visionary. Vision is scary. You're good. Here it might start a revolution. Okay. Yep. Alright. You jerk. <laughs> right on time. Super late, actually. Predatory. Another lord. Swing. Yes. Yes. Pester. Seven. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Mm-hmm. Green sun for ten. I almost want to let it resolve to see what it'll get, but instead we're going to force a bullet. Uh, one cast. Yep. It is a gas trigger. Kiosk trigger. Go ahead. I, I don't want to die. Alright, my mighty lords will Six. swing in. Yep. Vile. Pass turn. My handy dandy die on here. My reminder die. And so you have no cards in hand? Mm -hmm. hmm. Uh oh. Oh no, this is combat. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Nine. Yeah, I can take that. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's it. Go ahead. Alright. This is the reminder that they don't get to untap. Now. I will go to combat. Mm -hmm. Six. Six. You have a dryad arbor. What do you say? I'll just chomp in case of okay. shenanigans. That's fair enough. I do have a crystalline sliver. What does that do? It gives my uh, sliver shroud. Slivers have shroud, but importantly here it's a 4-4. Four -four. And then pastor. 
Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, a little harder than I hoped. Have it bounce around the room. Go ahead. Alright. Roll you up to two. Draw. All for one. One for all. So it's ten at you. I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that you're not dying from this. Yeah. Alright, main two. I have a Muta Vault. And... Hmm. Hearing your dog snore like that. I will play a Diffusion Sliver. It's not bad enough that my slivers have Shroud, but they also have Spell Pierce. <laughs> oh well, it's a 3-3. Three, three. I'll take that. Uh, and then pass turn. And now that it really doesn't matter, I've had a Chalice in my hand from the beginning of the game. But until this turn, I wasn't able to cast it, and I elected not to. Oops. Watch that bite me. Watch that bite me. Alright. Um, you have one card in hand. Yeah, Glimpse Resolves. Okay. Draw. Mm -hmm. Draw two. Okay. One off Visionary, one off Glimpse. That's, that's gonna get me. That's going to get me. Mm. One for glimpse. Mm -hmm. Three. Play him on two. One tap. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't the end. So play him on two. One tap this. Tap those two. Five. Yeah. You made five, Drop pay two. three, visionary, yeah. Right. Six. No, no, six. Alright. There we are. Five, draw. Heritage Druid plus Nettle Sentinel equals true combo. Uh, Seven. Or eight, yeah. You're about to pay for one. About to pay one. Called it. Yeah. Let's get there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nine, twelve. All right. We'll try to do our best to remember those triggers. Yeah. I'll try to be more cognizant of it now. Of them. Eleven. Alright. I do. And you know what one of them is because reveal that information. Hmm? I oh, showed yeah, you the chalice, chalice I could have right. cast, yeah. Um, 15. Yeah. 
14. Alright. Uh, blow up. Put in crystalline sliver? Yep. Mm hmm. Um. Oops. Mm hmm. Um. So the moral of this story <laughs> is it is never too late to cast Chalice against the Elves deck. They could always, always top deck glimpse. 17. Alright. I should just put that in the title of the video. The moral of this story is... 18. 18. Uh, that one's not... it's summoning sick. I thought I had a line of war that wasn't. Oh, wait, never mind, that's right. 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Natural order? Results? Let's see what you got. Greater health. Okay, I think we're okay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, plus, it's a five five, so eighteen coming at me. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine here. Barring some more shenanigans like another Crater Hope in hand, that would do it. That would make me a little sad. Howdy, Robbie. What the hell do you have? Lots of things. Alright, so I'm familiar with Elves decks running two of these a lot of the time. Yeah, it's a little late, but that's fine. It works. Sacking. Yeah. yeah. All right, show me. It's like when you make the skate shift player show. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. All right. Yeah. And thank goodness that thing doesn't have haste. Twelve. It was eighteen 12, at the time. 12, it doesn't count things after it. Oh, uh, it's just yeah. Confounded. It's okay. Eighteen. Wait, no, I can't swing with these two. Don't I've not blocked with them. I don't think those. Mm -hmm. I think those came because in because we turn. had the counter up to remind me that they didn't untap. Oh, you're right. You're right. Good games. <laughs> Good games. All right. And yeah. that was just safety. <laughs> chalice, 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 chalice. Oh, and it's a striking next. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, in all seriousness, the thought process was. You only had one card in hand. The likelihood that Chalice was going to do something was low enough that instead of playing that, I just played more creatures to try to overcome the creatures you had more quickly. That was obviously not the right play. A little bit of an understatement there, but that was my that was my attempt at reasoning. I was also a little bit worried. Well, it doesn't matter. That, that wasn't the right choice. So two Chalice in the main, two in the side. Well, you know what that green stone for 10 was. Yes, yes I do. That's... I was running through trying to remember if Rurik Thar was a 10 drop. I didn't think so, but... I guess that. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, I couldn't remember it. Oh yeah, yeah, against this. I was, I just, I don't know, I was trying to think of anything. But yeah, for Genesis I think that was 6 or 8, I think. So I took out Sentinel and Sidewinder, neither of which is terribly great here. And I brought in two more Chalices to supplement the two in the main board. Yeah, ugh, Ancient Ziggurat, you might have to go. You might just have to turn into... Honestly, a city of brass, or I don't, I don't know. That would have hurt over the course of that game, but I, I really don't like that it can't work for Chalice or for Ether Isle. So I'm, mm, it's gonna have to be something else, I think. All right, there's that. Err. So Abrupt Decay seems real good against the Forcible Creature deck, and the Progenitus. One for one, uh, one crater hoof, I'm guessing. Fair enough. Alright, 